So, hi everyone, as you can see by the name and by the suit that I have on right now, this is on my new Red Hood cosplay. I'll let you get a look at it first, just flick the collar up like that, make sure I love the Red Hood on the Outlaws design, honestly. New 52 will always be my inspiration. But yeah guys, this is it, I'll just step a bit into the light, let you get a look at the suit. The helmet is a new design, which just pops off like that. So everyone, this is the helmet, and again, thank you for clicking on the video and watching. Here we are with the new Red Hood helmet. I will be doing a process video on how you can make these, you know, your own variations. So you'll probably be able to make an Iron Man helmet, any kind of, you know, hopefully an Infinity War Spider-Man mask that I'm working on, or a face shell that I'm going to try and do. But I like how it looks, uh, the cutoff point across the face right here. I have the under mask that this just clips onto, so so it just slides on like that. I have, you know, the fittings right here, the earplugs that that just slides into. It, it fits perfectly, slides right into my chin. Uh, I took inspiration from the Dexter Soy art from, you know, his Rebirth comics. His run on the Red Hood comics, they are just amazing. So, and also there is another person that I have to give a shout out to but yeah this is the under mask you can just see like I showed you there Peltex ear pieces those are just on that but I'll well I'll show you this first Ugh. everyone always asks about the rubber neck piece guys this is just a latex rubber neck piece you can get these ordered or commission these a lot of sellers be uh, selling these on Facebook on Instagram you know so it's just one that I retrofitted myself with some velcro I got my neck says and that was it I just you know kept fitting it around my neck but the mask just zips up the back like that and yeah I have to put just mess my hair up like Jason because I hate the way my hair just goes all flat like that. It gets pretty warm underneath those masks guys. So yeah, this is just the underneath uh, Lycra face mask that I have. And uh, my camera is on 10% that it's telling me. But the Lycra face mask, uh, same as all the Spider-Man ones, you know, the four-way stretch. So I show you a video how to make your own template. Then you can go and cut four-way stretch Lycra fabric mask. That can go brilliantly underneath anything. But yeah. This is the whole helmet all in all and I'll show you what I made it from. So it's like a carnival mask and you've seen those many times before. It's the exact same technique as this. So my Daredevil mask, if you go and watch those process videos, if you're going to watch that video, I do show a carnival mask but this has no mouthpiece. Like right under here, I mainly use the top head portion of any face mask, they're £2.99, £3 in any costume shop. So here in the UK, if you look online, you can buy them. Cheap plastic face masks. But you can just see here, I use the front base of the top of the head. But this is the masks that I have right here. Now, usually I only use the top half, like I said, the top portion. These are all mouth pieces that I've had from previous carnival masks. So they're just white, plain masks. Uh, you know, easy to find, £3, like I said, you know. but. And you thought just, well, let's combine those together. Let's combine the top half portion with the face mask. Because if I tried to wrap this whole piece in one, which I may try and do the next stage, uh, I was afraid of it bending. You know, the, this Lycra fabric, because that's what I have wrapped it in. I've wrapped the whole top bit in Lycra fabric so that all the pieces blend together. And then I've wrapped the bottom, obviously, the mouthpiece. Like this one, this one's black, uh, this goes underneath my Batman Beyond mask, and this was the Winter Soldier mouthpiece. But I wrap those in the fabric and they do, you know, stretch back in, they do pull on themselves, so I was afraid of this bending. And I didn't want to mess up what I would already did, because I was already invested in the mask, so I'm just showing it off for the split. But I liked how it looked at the nose, because I, that was the main point, I wanted to meet up right here in the nose. Just right along here, it had to look nice, it had to blend, like it was, you know, just came down, came out, and straight down the mouth. So, that was the, the whole thing point I'll show you on the inside. I've just put a strap of black, uh, what is this, nylon strapping. So the nylon straps just stay, just straight across, holds it together tight, I've reinforced those. Put a bit of glue on the inside, and yeah, spray painted it completely dark black. The whole point, I made three different types of lenses for this mask, uh, ones were small. I think I have those lying around somewhere. This is the lens that I originally had designed. You can see, look at the size of the difference. The weight, uh, I was going for the, you know, the comic accurate, the, 
the tiny white iris I can't see through it so I don't know if I hold that up to the camera you know you can't see through it it is visible to see through I'll just hold that right up to the camera you know you can see through it the, the fabric the white mesh is very good it's what I use in the spider-man masks but again this was just a much smaller version I didn't like the coverage that it was giving me so I went back to my old old red hood mask uh, lenses and I based a shape off of those so that's just a silver lens on the inside that's cardboard so this whole frame is just cardboard wrapped in leather really black leather but the bad thing was it's pink on the inside you can see the pink you know just highlighted around the edges so i don't know what was going on there someone made black leather it was obviously fake uh but they had pink on the inside which is just a weird contrast but yeah all in all that's made it heavy hefty and i just based the lens design on those I added the little curve here, again the Daxter Soy gave me the shape, uh, if you want to go check his artwork out guys, the comics are amazing, but Daxter Soy on Instagram, that's what I got the shape from here, just coming along there, going right up into this sort of helmet shape, just plugs on, like that, so you don't have to wear, you know, it comes in my ears right here, just right there, just comes to around there, and just clips on, you could put, that's why the Lycra face mask is there, but the chin piece, I could build this out. I could, uh, you know, do whatever. But it just perfectly fits to the face. I can see through it. And yeah, guys, that's the whole helmet I want to just let you. I love this thing. You know, I love my red hood. But the carnival mask, which what I started out with at the start, I spray painted. I put a mouthpiece on the front externally. I didn't try and blend it all with the one helmet. So that's the improvement of, what is it, four years now? So four years all in all trying to make red hood helmets. But this is the suit that I'll show you. And let's just straighten the camera up slightly. And I think I've askewed it a bit. There we go. Let's just go with that. So this is the red hood jacket that I made. Camel brown polyester fabric like you've seen. I have a process video on how to make this actual jacket. So this actual jacket right here guys. Uh, you can go and check out the process video on. His always comes to us. So let's move it down just slightly a bit more. And yeah, so the jacket all in all, you can go and check out the process video for. Um, I love how it looks. I have the sleeves rolled up because the gauntlets, again, the Daxter Soy sort of new 52, they have the giant silver spikes. I just went with plain black. I'll get into those, but I have a little emblem here on the back. Tiny bat just to, you know, it, I think it gives it a bit of character. I love the collar because the red hood, like I say, rebirth and new 50, well, new 52 will always be my inspiration. Always, 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 New 52. Red Hood and the Outlaws, such a team, but he had the nice collar up in the jacket, which really thick, combed to his, uh, around his, you know, just all around his neck. But he had these giant silver, you know, bolts or metal bolts just right here. They were accents, I don't know, they just plugged in buttons. Whatever they were, I loved how it looked, and I've always tried to reimagine that. I've always tried to incorporate that into any Red Hood jacket that I do. Again, like I say, short, come up to around, not like the general, you, you know, your general normal jacket that flows down a bit more to around your waist. This one comes to around my hips, just above my hips. And yeah, I love how it blends together. I've added just a tiny, you know, just a bit of authentication to it. Uh, it zips up here in the middle, like this. Black zipper, and the back just came on the outside there. Zips up like that, very tight because I want, I'm not gonna have it zipped up that much. If you wanna really do it stylish, you could just you know, zip it up to around there because you want the bat to hang out and that's how you could really do it you know just put the jacket in all in all it does blend well if you're going to do any photo shoots roll up the sleeves so to make the gauntlets now again i do have process videos out there guys for the three tiered gauntlets made you can make it from eva foam you can make it from cardboard i use paltex very costly very dear i'm running out so <laughs> that's going to be a, a new adventure that we're going to go on but yeah the gauntlets are a base design three tiered one two and three then we have built up on top of those with a shin pad now these are 10 pounds to 15 pounds used for football or soccer as people in the states call it but yeah football shin guards they go on your shins obviously to protect from being kicked or beaten whatever from injury and i've just put some straps again nylon strapping that's used for you know kind of army camel kind of stuff or any general strapping really thick looks good velcro right here that just comes off black velcro so i've moved away from the weight the black really blends to it so if i pop these out i've added on also to the shin guard these buckles 
you can just see here those little latch buckles right there I've added those on myself so that, that can hook in we have a zipper it comes down in here and that just comes off like that so you can go for the general you know just normal jacket I have again like the new 52 or the rebirth I have the red cuff that I have to spray paint just darken that down I made add a zipper in here but that's just so that it's elasticated it's lycra fabric so that maybe if someone else wears it it will stretch out that's you could wear it like this I like it like this uh, or you could wear it like that completely up to you but the gauntlets are too thin I always think maybe Red Hood or Robin should have just two fins so I hold those out there like that uh, three fins I know a lot of people love those and they always sometimes maybe put the fins up here on the top of the wrist so that when you're standing posed those two fins will come out here you know you always have to stand like that I like on the edge like the Batman Begins and the Dark Knight sort of stay well Batman Begins because they changed it in Dark Knight Batman Begins stay they are made from Peltex uh, wrapped in black fabric two pieces of Peltex so to make it thicker everything's done with hot glue guys so if you want to use PVA glue if you want to use Gorilla Glue spray cement uh, completely completely up to you in what your adhesive is Contact cement is very good. I've heard of and Gorilla Glue. That's that's brilliant. Uh, I love hot glue But again, they just strap off like that and I'm gonna keep this one on but no actually not I'll show you this t-shirt This is the jacket again. You can have these whatever way you want. You can color or design these I have a pair of green ones Like these so again three tiered approach one two three these were my arrow gauntlets that I have just put shin pads onto I made these into robin gauntlets again the two fins at the bottom here so make your gauntlets whichever way you want for whatever character nightwing red arrow uh if you want to go for you know captain marvel if you want to go for iron man gauntlets uh completely up to you i would love to make the wakandan uh you know captain america two shields i might make those this is the jacket that we will take off so if you're ever at a con and you can just take the jacket off uh, again process video is out there guys if you want to go watch it you can just walk around in your shirt so this is the base armor now I have the six pack portion which I've sort of taken the design from creative stress creative stress is an amazing an amazing manufacturer of armor if you want to go check out their account on Instagram I think it's a team duo they all oh, the stuff that they make is amazing honest to God but their six pack design this is what they sort of make with the Arkham Knight style and that just blends in like that I love how it looks I've sort of put my own you know kind of thing on it but it is basically their shape honestly please go follow creative stress <laughs> their stuff is amazing then we go to the pectoral pieces right here on the chest logo so I've spray painted the chest logo everything is made from Peltex you can go for EVA foam, you can make it out of cardboard, you can make it out of warbler, you can anything else out there that people want to make it out of. A lot of play mats people that use, you can get those cheaply for you know yoga, you can use it for exercises, and then after you're done for the exercises, you can use it for armor. But I went for the two pectoral pieces right here underneath the chest because once I put this logo on, it looked burr as hell. It looked really burr between here and here. I had the six pack portion. I had the chest piece on and I says this doesn't look right. So I added in the under pectoral pieces. They go right around just to the side here. I can bend. I can move. This is a black t-shirt that I wore. So again, this is you can incorporate all your own old clothing. New, well, I wouldn't say use your new clothing. But any old clothing or anything that someone else has that they're maybe throwing away don't use anymore you can reimagine it i mean i've sewn this in the middle to thin it in so this was really big and it's a bit of elastic so it stretches and i just thinned this in a lot so that it fits me a lot better it conforms to it but i've also made it breathable so that if i do need to walk around it works i can bend in it i've added just these pieces up here you know at the top of the thing because that's covering up the logo you can just see there the hint of something that's printed underneath and that's it just cover up any logos that you need to I have to get my black jeans okay I have the gun holster so if you go to these are just skating pads that go on your wrists so I've got this ages ago they cost me 11 pounds just for the whole set that came with shoulder knee pads and wrist pads that I reimagined and redesigned these into gun holsters so these are pieces that go around your wrist. You can make yours from, again, like EVA foam. You can just make them up as you go along for your design. Make sure it fits your gun. 
though. So whatever prop gun that you're going to use, toy gun, make sure that your gun holster, your gun fits into it. It's, I've had that problem before. Really put in a lot of work and for nothing. So yeah, this is a blue tip pellet gun or a BB gun that I, you know, I bring the cons because it's it's simple. You, you know it's a fake gun, you know it's a toy gun. And yeah, it's, it's kind of okay. I might spray paint this red so that it can be used for photo shoots. It blends in with the red hood armor. But that just goes around here with an elasticated strap and buckle. So right here we have the buckle and the elasticated strap. Goes around my thigh and clips on like that. So yeah, we have the gun holster. Then we have a piece that comes around that just folds around like that to hold the gun in. Everything's all good. It just comes off like that, clips off. If you want to make your gun holster fit on a lot better, I'm going to be making attachments to go to the belt. And this belt is just a luggage strap, so it was actually blue originally. It was a light blue. This is to go around your bags, your luggage, so that if you need to tighten it, you just put this around and fasten it. I've just taken in the shape a lot more. I've wrapped it in black fabric to give it that color. I've taken two pound torches, so this was one pound, this was another, so two pounds all in all. The belt was another pound, so that's three pounds to make the belt, but there was a lot of other design flaws that went into it, not design flaws, a lot of other design aspects that went into it. And I'm gonna be adding on pouches, there's clips that are gonna be going on, knife pouches, all that kind of stuff. I had a logo previously on the middle that I've taken off because I just think it's too tacky. But if you want to just get some red torches and just clip those on, I'm going to be weathering those up and spray painting those. Yeah, that just comes around to my waist like that. All in all, fits on perfect. Uh, again, I'm going to be attaching the gun holsters down from the hip and the belt, all the way down just here to the thigh. And yeah, guys, this is it. The whole shirt I am really happy with. The bat insignia, you can go for a wider bat. You can go for any kind of design. You know, there's a lot of different artists out there that do this logo really really good so i went for you know the long like wing tip and the spike wing tip up the top usually some people would you know lift the bat head up and actually make a square or a rectangular shape and then bring the ears down you know emphasize the head a bit more so my phone died yet again but we have it back on and again just for the bat logo guys you can go for whatever design you want look up some like pictures on google instagram look at the comics they are brilliant maybe come up with your own design Completely up to you, incorporate it you know, in different ways, put different pieces into it. But yeah, the line work is all up to you. This has been me with my Red Hood costume. It's been a lengthy video because we've been away, way, blah, blah. We've been away for a lengthy time. Even I get tongue twistered, you see. I need to get back in the swing of things. But I have a whole cluster closet of cosplay goodness for everyone. Honestly, I have like five new cosplays, including, I'll shoot you right now. For anyone who's not on Instagram, we're doing the uh, Nazi Aro, so the Nazi version of Earth X Aro. We have most of it done. You can see the red accents, you can see the six pack portion and stuff. I have the mask, so I'll show the mask. Right here, you know, I, it's not fully done yet, so that's just getting done. But we have, trust, I have a lot of cosplays to show you. We are starting up fresh with, you know, all the gaming channel and stuff and all that kind of things. I'm going to be talking about reviews for the uh, TV shows, movies, all that kind of stuff. This has been my passion project. This is the, one of the first videos, I think the second video that I ever uploaded onto the channel was a red hood you know uh, i think it was actually it was like the fourth video because the robin ones were the first ones and second and kind of stuff but yep this has been me guys i'll get back into the suit i'll let you see it all in its glory but thank you so much for watching and here i am in the full suit so everyone this is the end of the video thank you so much for watching i just wanted to show you the suit again you know as i said i've taken this off throughout the whole video because i wanted to show you each process but yeah this is the helmet like I showed you at the start of the video and then you can just see the gauntlets, the jacket, the shirt, the belt, uh, the under mask that I wear underneath. It actually helps, you know, talk better without the mask. But as I say guys, again, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and comment down below. Leave all your cosplay costume ideas down below. Also what you're working on, what maybe you need help with. The links down below are for the Instagram on the Facebook page. I'm more active on the Instagram and yeah. This has been the Red Hood cosplay so far. I still have to, you know, get my black jeans. I have the gun holsters there. I'm probably going to make some thigh pads and knee pads and just wear some, you know, work boots, really some thick builder boots. But yeah, 
All in all, I love how it fits on. The gloves are also a nice little add-on, and then the knives and the props and stuff. But you're going to see this completely full, and I'll just put on the helmet again. Like I said, please subscribe and comment, guys, for me, everyone here at Ireland. This is me and my Red Hood cosplay so far. And yeah, you're amazing. See you later, guys. Bye. Always have to be speak.